National Park Nighthawk Women's Basketball is on the Nighthawk Network. Your official home for Nighthawk Athletics this season. Our featured women's basketball player this week, Miss Amaya Coakley. Amaya, welcome back to National Park College. You made waves for Nighthawk Nation in year number one. And why was it important for you to make sure that you were back for year number two to continue leading this program? Well, the way that battles described it to me in india and jala was that he needed us to come back and be leaders meaning he needed us to lead the team and basically help the freshmen grow a little bit faster than they should and basically show them the routes and teach them the things that they needed to be taught to know how to play college basketball so that's the part how has that transition been different for you? And so we, we go back a year to last year, and a lot of you really didn't know each other coming in, and you had to develop that chemistry, and you did great things. You took North Arc to the wire in the Region 2 tournament, and uh, I think it really showed what this team is capable of. So fast forward to this year, where now you're the veteran. You have to step up and be the example, be the role model. How have you managed to do that so far for this year's team? I feel like... Honestly, I feel like one thing that we're learning together as a group is acceptance. And meaning by that, it's like a lot of people can accept criticism. But when I talk to them and when I come to them, you know, as a woman and tell them what isn't right and what's wrong, like when they do the incorrect things, they take it as, you know what, instead of me being mad, instead of me taking the message, I'm going to listen to it the correct way instead of taking it as, oh, she's trying to come at me or oh, she's trying to talk to me this way or make me feel this way. But instead, I'm just trying to help you. And I feel like with the difference between this year's team and last year's team, we had the right group. It just wasn't the right mindset with everyone. So everyone wasn't in it to win it. Everyone was so focused on other things than basketball. And I feel like with this group, as I told them, we need to focus on the bigger things instead of the small things. Even though the small things count, the bigger things are what's going to help us go to what we're trying to get, and that's a ring. Amaya, each time we see you hit the floor, we see someone who's very passionate about this game. We see someone who loves this game and cares about the success of not only yourself, but the team as well. What is it that really drives you to be the best that you can be whenever you hit the floor? Honestly, I would say what drives me is thinking about my little sister. My little sister, she always looks up to me in anything, no matter if it's singing, dressing up, talking, uh, sleeping, like playing, anything. So I basically do it for her and my family, but more so her because it's something that I want to be a great mo role model for her. I want to be a great leader for her to show her that even when you feel like you're down and you feel like all odds are against you, you can still overcome those things. You can still be the best of you and still do what you can do best. And no one can tell you otherwise. As long as you tried and as long as you put forth worth effort, that's all that matters. Because rather if you win or lose, you can still put your head up and all you know is like, all right, well, I did what I could do best and we all did what we could do best. So that's all that matters at the end of the day. Coach Dominic Battles always says, my team is going to be the strongest, the fastest, and the most, the, the best conditioned team on the floor every night. And, and he has put you guys uh, in a very good place going into NJCAA region to play. You've played some tough competition this year, and there have been some tough losses that have come from that. But I also feel like maybe there have been some lessons that have been learned from playing against some really good teams. As we look ahead to the conference opener this weekend with UA Cossetot, what are some of the things that this team has learned that you can put to the test to really start this conference slate with a big win? I can say we understand grit and effort and attitude. One thing that we really struggle with is attitude and selfishness. I feel as if when one person is spoiling a bunch, then everyone feels like they got to scatter around and just do whatever because of what one person does, and it affects everyone. But now that we're learning that even if one person makes a mistake, let that person be exposed and you still do what's right. Like, just like integrity, you do something good without someone watching. So that's how you know, like, all right, so if I can play defense this way and I can play that way, then what they do is what they do and what I do is what I do. But I still have to come together and play as a team. Like I told them from day one, at the end of the day, we're sisters, we're family. When we step on this court and off the court, we don't have to talk, but on this court, we're sisters and we're family and we have to play basketball together. Because all great teams that has played and won rings and went far, They've all had some type of companionship, and they all have came together as one. They put their differences aside, and they came together as one, and they won something together. And that's something that no one can take from you is you becoming one. When you become one, you become a whole, and when you become a whole, you become a family. And once you become a family, then everything starts to play its part, and things start to change. And I feel like 
some of the games that we have had, things start to look well. But then you see the games where we broke down that, and it shows that we weren't a family anymore. But the games where we were a family, we'll lose by like five or we'll win by one. But that's what matters at the end of the day, not what we lost by and what we couldn't do. A lot of things that we can do, we just choose not to do. But I know this weekend, we're going to have a good game. I love that. What a great philosophy. And I know that that resonates with your team, not only on the floor in game time, but in practice as well. Amaya, we've loved seeing you grow, and we love to see you continue to grow. We think the best is yet to come for the Nighthawks this season. Congratulations on the honor. Good luck the Thank rest you. of the way. Is there anybody you'd like to say hello to who may be watching? Um, I want to say hi to Zach. Um, I thank you so much for putting me up as much as I've been down and struggling with like personal things and stuff like that. You've always been my number one fan, and I appreciate that. Amaya Coakley of Nighthawk Women's Basketball. You can follow the team online, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. For Amaya Coakley, I'm Mark Oliver. This is Nighthawk Women's Basketball on the Nighthawk Network.